Next is gonna be our faculty offices, liberal arts and study abroad. And Juliana is gonna take you there. Yeah, so before I do start with this section, I just wanna remind you all that if you do have questions, please visit the link on the side or above us. Um, type in your questions and we'll be happy to answer them. So now moving on to the next section. Um, right here, as you can um, see, um, this is where we have the faculty and the liberal arts building. So this is the liberal arts building. Um, this is normally where you would go and take like your general ed cl classes like you would find English and things like that. But before I move on to what classes are offered here, I want to show you these pictures. They have like its own little kind of quad section um, between classes. You can sit there, relax, study, um, eat a snack, which is a nice place to go. Um, and these are the classes that are normally offered there. Like I said, they're general education classes like um, history, sociology, math, and psychology. Moving on, we have the faculty offices. Um, this is normally where you would go and meet with your professors, um, especially during office hours. I encourage you all to visit office hours. Um, every professor has their office hours where students can go and ask questions about assignments, check in with them about your grades, or just ask questions in general. Um, I think every student should go at least um, once every, for every class because it's good to put um, a face to a name. So it's good for um, teachers to know who you are and them knowing that you wanna be involved and you wanna be um, successful in their class. Um, we also have um, the study abroad office, which if you're planning uh, to study abroad, I know right now with this pandemic, um, they're not currently do it, but if you want to learn more about it, um, that's where you would go. They have um, traveled to London, England and like Barcelona. So they have really good programs. Now moving on, we're going to talk about the Learning Center, the Puma Center and the Veteran Center. And Eve, you can go ahead. Okay, so where are they located? Well, they're located like previously, they're right located right next to the um, faculty office and a liberal arts office. So Learning Center is a really good resource. This is where the students come to get tutoring with English and math. The first level we have English and English you get either, um, you get tutoring in writing and reading. It's just that extra support. And then on the top part, we have the lab, the math lab, which students get, uh, tutoring with with um, specific math level they're in in class and they provide textbook calculators for that same day use. And then we have the Puma Center. Um, Puma stands for Puente, Emoja, Mesa and Achievement Center. Um, Puente is, these are all learning communities. Uh, I'll start with Puente. Puente is um, a learning community that increases the number of Mexican American Latino student transferring. Omoja is committed to academic success, per, um, personal growth, and self actualization of Ameri um, African American and other students. MESA stands for um, Math, Engineering, Science Achieve Achievement, is a statewide program for academically and economically. economically an underrepresented student majoring in STEM majors. So um, the, the thing about um, learning these learning communities, well, for MESA, you do have to be a STEM major to be able to join. For Puente and Emoja, you don't have to be either um, Hispanic or um, African-American to be able to join these programs. And this is, this is the place you mostly see me in because this is where I spend most of my time. Uh, because I was part of um, Puente myself and um, Friends of Emoja. And then here we have the Veteran Center. The Veteran Service um, as support for um, veterans that have served our country. They get um, support for the for school, for financially and and other like other stuff. 